Welcome to Archiversity Online Lectures. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to calculate, analyze and interpret chi-square test for two independent samples. As you know by this time, chi-square test is one of the most popular statistical test in uh, survey research. Chi-square test can be used on uh, single sample, two samples and multiple samples. So in this lecture, our focus is on how to calculate and analyze chi-square test for two independent samples. The chi-square test for two independent samples is calculated to find out significant differences between two qualitative variables. When you talk about two qualitative variables, these variables are measured on a nominal scale. This is one requirement of a chi-square test for two independent samples. Then it is done on a frequencies and a discrete categories. In a chi-square test may be used to determine whether the significance of differences between two independent groups. Right? And uh, as we said, it is measured on a nominal scaling. So examples where uh, the context where you can use a chi-square test is you might test whether two political groups differ in their agreement or disagreement with some opinion or uh, we might test whether the sexes differ in the frequency with which they choose certain leisure time activities, etc. Now the requirements for a chi-square test is that the variable should be measured on a nominal scale. This is one and there should be independence among the measures and the test should be conducted on actual frequencies, not on a percentages. The sample size should be large. Then no more than 20% of the cells should have a frequency of less than Phi. This is a uh, uh, less than phi is a basic uh, 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 assumption of any of the chi-square tests. Here, the hypothesis that we frame in chi-square test is that null hypothesis is that there is no statistically significant association between two variables or groups. Alternative hypothesis is that there is statistically significant association between two variables. So I will explain this uh, uh, chi-square test for two independent samples with the two examples. Here is uh, a one example. A book publisher receives order from individuals and institutions. So here you have uh, two groups. One group is in individuals and second group is in uh, institutions through online marketplace. Orders are placed for shipment on two modes. One is a standard mode or a same day mode. So the publisher is interested to know is there any association between customer type and shipment mode. So here when we say that uh, customer type you have a two, one is a individual and second one is institution. And then you have a mode, shipment mode. Again, this has a two options. One is a standard and second one is same day. So this results you into a two into two matrix. And if you observe here, both that is a customer type and mode, these two are measured on a nominal scale. So they are a categorical variables. So for this, uh, the data is collected and I'll show you the data. Here in SPSS, uh, data is tabulated here. Now you can see the variable view, segment, customer segment, in you know, a values if you check here. So one is for individuals and two is institutions. So one. The next is uh, shipment type. So here you can see that shipment type is a standard and same day. So and here is the uh, data. Now, how is it you are going to calculate chi-square test for two independent samples is first go to analyze in the menu command. Then here click on a descriptive statistics and a descriptive statistics choose cross tabs. In a cross tabs window, now select the customer type and send it to the rows by clicking on the arrow here. Then you have a shipment mode, select this one and send it to the columns. Now from exact Select exact, click continue, then uh, go to statistics. Here choose the chi-square test. In a uh, cross tabs of statistics, choose chi-square test, then click continue. Then comes your cells. So here cells counts observed by default is uh, observed counts it will give. Those also select expected count because the chi-square test is based on finding out the association between uh, observed counts and expected counts. Then uh, in addition to that, also select percentages, row percentage and column percentage. So these descriptives will help you to understand uh, 
the reasons for uh, deviations or uh, similarity in a chi square test then click continue then here uh, display uh, clustered bar chart here the format style bootstrap is not required then click ok and the result is presented in an output document so here you have an output document now if you observe first we look at the total count so total count you have a uh, 282 respondents the sample is large enough all right and then here individuals are 187 and institutions are 95 that is uh, uh, the company is receiving orders from uh, individuals 187 and uh, from institutions it is a uh, 95 so then you can see the various percentages here all right expected count shipment mode standard and all now importantly go to chi-square test results so in a chi-square test result look at the pearson chi-square test the value is 0 0.624 that means the chi-square value is very small that indicates that the difference between the two variables is also small and look at the uh, significance value that is a two-sided two significance value as well as a one-sided significance value so these values shows you 0.43 and 0.25 which indicates that you need to retain the null hypothesis when you're saying that you are retaining a null hypothesis mean there is no significant association or there is no significant difference in uh, shipment orders placed by individuals and institutions so even though the count may vary so here uh, individuals standard shipment has 99 and same day 88 whereas institutions standard is 55 whereas the same day 40 even then there is a de uh, deviations in absolute values here statistically you do not find any significant differences in shipment mode chosen by the individual customers as well as the institutional customers right this is a uh, one example and uh, have another example here so here uh, in the second example a researcher was interested to know which of the two teaching methods offline or online is preferred by teachers and students now here you have a uh, two categories one is uh, teachers and second one is students and then uh, you have uh, offline teaching and online so this also gives you two into two uh, matrix so because of which you need to calculate uh, chi-square test for two independent samples this is one and second is that these two are measured on a nominal scale so we quickly run the statistics here uh, you have a category of teachers teacher and a student okay then uh, preferred the teaching mode of uh, offline education and online education so quickly we run go to analyze then descriptive statistics cross tabs and uh, send your uh, student teacher or category to rows then variable to columns go to exact select uh, exact click uh, continue then uh, go to statistics choose the chi-square test then click continue and uh, here cells observed is there select expected frequencies then row percentage column percentage click continue then select a display uh, clustered bar charts then click ok so the result is again presented in an output document so here you have uh, active data set right total 335 observations or uh, respondents participated in the study and of which uh, teachers are 90 and the students are 245 because there is a deviation in a teachers and students by looking at these values you may not be able to statistically find out who is preferring which uh, uh, mode of uh, education and is there any differences so that's the reason why you need to calculate all these descriptive statistics and look at the chi-square value here if you look at the Pearson chi-square value is very small that is 0 0.047 which indicates that there is no significant difference in the opinions expressed by teachers and students with related to offline education or a online education and look at the asymptomatic significance standard uh, that is a significance level of a two-sided it is 0.82 and uh, one side is 0.46 so uh, looking at these significance values you can uh, uh, comfortably retain the null hypothesis which indicates that there is a no significant difference in the opinions expressed by teachers and students with related to offline education and online education and by looking at the descriptive statistics you will be able to know which is the preferred mode so if you, as there is a difference 
between these two if you observe here uh, offline education nearly 62% uh, of the respondents are preferring offline education whereas 37% is preferring online education the same is with the, in a case of a teachers 63% is offline education whereas in a student 72% preferring a offline education so as there is a deviation here uh, between uh, that is the opinions expressed by teachers and students you need to confirm this with a statistically significance level that is the reason why we perform a chi square test so thank you thank you very much for listening to the lecture i hope uh, these two examples will make you familiar with usage of a chi square test for two independent samples thank you